Starting our list off at number 10, the Red Door. Okay, if you're a fan of Haunting of Hill House, this first one here should uh, tickle your fancy. Here we go, I'm terrified already. This is some hospital footage because, you know, why not? This video starts off with a flickering light, but as the person filming walks down the hallway, the door at the end begins to open and close repeatedly. <laughs> like this, check it out. Now, once they reach said red door that was opening and, you know, slamming shut, they realize nothing is there and it doesn't really go anywhere. The door just leads to pipes, like water supply pipes in case of emergencies, you know what I mean? So they're inspecting it to see what have caused the opening and closing when they began to hear banging coming from another door further down the hallway. And then, of course, like Looney Tunes, they go and check out that one as well. When they check it out, they find nothing and nobody. Honestly, you guys, when I saw the door at the end, when it didn't lead anywhere, I was upset. I was like, oh, someone's faking it. Maybe someone's there, you know, doing something on the other side. Nope, just terrifying. There we go. Number nine, historic home tape. No, not one of those home tapes, you freaks. That's enough. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what happened or who these people are, but something's, something's going on in here. You know what? I'm tapping out. Let's move on. Number eight, Barton Mansion Ghost. This video is from 2001. Somebody explored through the Barton Mansion in California because like I said earlier, some people like doing that for some reason. This mansion is said to be the home of tons of sinister happenings, satanic rituals, paranormal activity. It's even said that a demon haunts the top floor. It's kind of cool though, demon haunting the top floor. He's like, ah, shot to the top bunk and then just floats around. It's said that the night before this video was taken, a group had broken into the abandoned basement and there they found a creepy configuration of stones surrounding a piece of meat. They came back the next day to take some more video footage of the place and the part of the video that I wanted to show you is basically a first person view how somebody explores through said mansion. And it's when they spot something that none of us wanted to see and that's when all hell breaks loose. Here we go. What exactly did he see there? I have no idea. If you have any ideas, put it in the comments down below because I won't be able to sleep. Great. Number seven, clown sightings. This footage comes again from another home surveillance camera and I feel like these things always catch the creepiest happenings. I just did a doorbell camera video where the dude's licking the guy's doorbell. That's the worst thing I've seen in ages. This time when the homeowner went to check their footage, they were greeted by an extremely creepy clown. Yeah, I'm not sure if you remember years back when there was like a clown craze, everyone just wanted to be clowns for some reason and hang out next to the highway. That was weird. I'm hoping that's where this video comes from, but again, there's no explanation. So we just gotta dive in and wonder. Grabs a pumpkin and then tears it apart. The clown stares awkwardly at the camera before disappearing into the darkness. I like that the reporter commented that the clown looked awkward at the camera before leaving. Yeah, awkward. That's for sure the word I would use for this encounter. Awkward, not terrifying. Number six, blockbuster ghost. Oh, a, a classic. For those of you who don't know, before the age of streaming and you know, LimeWire, Netflix, all that amazing technology, we had to go to a store with our legs and our families. We had to put on our winter coats to go rent a movie. And sometimes we got there and there was only wide screens left of said movie. That was always the worst. You're like, ah, oh, I guess. I would go in and hide a video sometimes and then come back with my family, we'd find it, and then rent it. Now, as many good memories that rest there in Blockbuster, there's also some haunting ones. This surveillance camera footage shows an employee, after closing, restocking some of the shelves in the store, and then they notice something flying off one shelf while they're stocking it. And when he finishes stocking one shelf, he moves on to the next, but one video on the shelf he just worked on immediately falls off. Okay, maybe he put the video on the shelf in a you know awkward angle. It was in a tight 45, maybe it was one of those, and it kind of slipped down. It happens. But when he walks away, it flies off the shelf again. Now, at this point, I would have already dipped. I would have signed out, maybe even quit my job. Who knows? But he goes back, picks the video up, and he walks away again, but this time, a video on the other shelf falls down right in front of him, and then as he reaches to pick that video up, another video falls, and then a third one falls. And then he understandably runs off after that. That's just, yeah, to be honest, at that point, I would leave. I would leave after the first video fell, if I'm being honest. Number five, witch caught on tape. I am terrified of witches. I don't like this one. Okay. This video comes from Mexico and it's said to be a sighting of a witch flying through the air. I love this video. I saw this long before I started working here and it's been red free, just sitting right in there. I don't like how slow she's going too. Like she's not in any rush. 
The people who recorded the video said they could see the figure wearing a cape, which is why, of course, we all assume that it's a witch. And also, she's flying through the air, so there's that too. Just to add another layer of, huh, to this already kind of weird video, police officers from the area also explained that they had seen some sort of witch-like creature before this footage was even captured. They said they saw some sort of creature dressed in all black with huge claws, and it had their head hanging down low. Like, imagine a police officer, I'd be like, what, go get that thing then. What, what are you talking about? Is that a gargoyle? I've seen Lord of the Rings. Can we close the city? That's terrifying. That's a Debbie Gorgon. Number four, creeper in the back, not creeper in the front. That's a, that's a different video. This is creeper in the back. Here we go. With so much of the world working from home and needing to do Zoom calls all the time and now we're just comfortable and no one wants to go back to the office, so we're just gonna keep doing it forever, I guess. After you see this clip, you're gonna be looking over your shoulder every time you're in a meeting in the future. Yeah, you don't want anything like that creeping around your house at any point. When you're looking or not looking, honestly. The sad part is that guy looked like he was having a good time. Maybe he got a promotion on this Zoom call, you know? Whatever was going on, he was loving it until, you know, the scary, Demon apparatus cloud monster thing appeared, of course. Then it kind of went downhill. Now I don't know what the aftermath is of this video, so if you want peace or sleep tonight, I can't help you. I'm not the guy for you. I just report the videos and go, that's scary. Next. Number three, the clip. This is a video that's titled Clip 95 MP4. And after watching it, honestly, I'm good with the other 94, to be honest. I wish I could explain to you guys what's going on in this video, but Again, like the rest of them, I have no idea. That's why I included them. They're really baffling. It's a weirdly put together VHS tape, montage, whatever, that features some strange looking people and masks. A weird thing that maybe looks like a clock and then a whole bunch of, it's just, it's just bad vibes. You know, Chris, just bad vibes going on. It's just not the mood for us. I don't know what's going on, but I don't want to find out. Again, like the rest. I don't know what's going on with the clock symbolism here either. It's very specific. I feel like I'm late watching this video. Like I have like the anxiety going on now. Number two. The chair, not to be confused with the WWE wrestling move, the chair. This is a uh, way, way less fun, this one. I grew up watching the big comfy couch. I love comfy couches and comfy chairs. I'll sit on both all day long. A rocking chair as an adult, I'll be asleep in minutes. I love this, except for when it's haunted and it just rocks by itself. Then in that case, I don't wanna buy that, no thank you. This is a video of exactly that. It's a chair that is said to have been purchased, used just a couple of days prior, and huh, let me tell you, I hope they kept a receipt. My grandma had a rocking chair, and she said that it would move on its own from time to time. Isn't that terrifying? My grandma told me that when I was like eight. And finally, number one, VHS for sale. This VHS tape was found at an estate sale that was being held in a barn. Now the person who uploaded this tape found them in 10 boxes that they had purchased amongst you know, other things such as records, rusted tools, old paint cans, just borderline garbage. And they're like, ah, yes, I'll paint it a different color and sell it for a dollar more. And then, you know, sure. This video shows somebody walking through some sort of mildly wooded area in the daytime, which, okay, yeah, fine, that's all great and dandy, but then it cuts to a night scene immediately and that's when the uncomfortable feelings start to rise up. That's when I feel like I'm gonna throw up on my keyboard watching this video. I have absolutely no idea what the white thing being dragged is, but hey, guess what? I don't wanna find out. There we go, what a fun list that was. In our number 10 spot, we have Nessie is real. <laughs> okay guys, the Loch Ness Monster is real real at least that's what i think after watching this recent video shot from the air looking down upon the water there is literally a long neck looking dinosaur in the water and it has to be nessie himself herself is Nessie a girl? This is definitely some footage that has been buried deep by the governments of the world, including the FBI. And why, you may ask? Damn, I don't know. Perhaps the discovery of this ancient creature could mean that there's more magical creatures out there. It could mean that there is a portal to a new world in the lake. Or perhaps it means that the wizarding world of Harry Potter is real. Anyways, this video I think is substantial proof that the cryptid that is known as the Loch Ness monster is in fact real. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to smash that like button as it really helps us out. In our number nine spot, we have the deep sea cryptid. Okay, this footage blew my mind when I saw it. I personally think this is proof of yet another mythical ocean creature slash cryptid that we are unaware of yet. The ocean is so big and mysterious, I bet you even mermaids exist. <laughs> In August of 2018, the Japan Agency of Marine Earth Science and Technology 
when they found something in the waters of Sagami Bay near Tokyo. A big creature with big glowing eyes and a gaping mouth. Now at first it appears to move, but as the camera gets closer, it appears to freeze in place. And so, since we don't see it move much, some people say that it's an illusion of a creature and that it's really just a rock that looks like it has eyes, as humans have a tendency to see faces in inanimate objects. But what if it's a creature that became aware of the fact that it was being watched and so it froze to look like a rock? This creature legit looks like it stepped right out of Monsters Inc. I don't know. Anyways, this footage could be nothing or it could be everything and that's why it's possible that it's being marketed as possibly nothing. In our number 8 spot we have the hide behind. I had no idea what this was before I researched this video, but apparently there is an ancient creature known as a hide behind. And these creatures used to hide in forests and were nocturnal, and they would prey upon humans that wander the woods such as lumberjacks. They are said to be able to conceal themselves. The creature quickly hides behind an object so it's not directly seen. This is how it's able to attack human prey by stalking them from afar and not be seen. Anyways, now that you know what a hide behind is, this video that was captured by a grandmother certainly shows a creature that looks just like a hide behind. A shadow, if you will. If this video was not staged, and it is real, like they claim, then I definitely think this is proof of some kind of hide behind or mythical creature. Perhaps it's Bigfoot, but certainly this shadowy figure doesn't seem completely normal. In our number 7 spot we have the Kraken. The giant squid known around the world as the Kraken is an enormous squid like sea monster originally from Scandinavian folklore. People believe tales of the creature were created after fishermen spotted giant squid out on the water. Anyways, recently something very mysterious was discovered when zooming into the middle of the sea on Google Earth. A strange, large creature that appears to light up and looks to be very large and is creating a wake. Google Earth's measuring tool has shown that the wake is over 250 meters wide. This picture has surely had the FBI concerned as the internet has been going crazy trying to figure out if that's a Kraken, an ancient dinosaur like fish, or an alien craft that perhaps crashed into the water or is in the water. Without a doubt, though, there's something mysterious going on there. Where is the light coming from, my friends? My vote is for alien craft. That makes more sense in terms of where the light is coming from. In our number six spot, we have the alien sea creature. This may be our biggest piece of proof that aliens might live underneath us or in the water. This video captured from a Brazilian beach was buried deep online, probably by the FBI because of its mysteriousness. It showcases a very strange looking creature in the water that looks just like every picture of an alien that I've ever seen. Ever think about where we originally got our idea for how aliens look? Yeah, well probably from meeting them, or possibly from seeing creatures like this. This creature looks like it has arms and legs and is just walking around the shore and isn't seemingly looking threatening, just going about and doing its thing. It was described as a jellyfish like monster. If that isn't an alien, then please explain to us what that is. Conclusion? It's an alien, an alien sea creature. In our number 5 spot we have the baby dragon. A video was shot showing a creature in a pond that literally looks exactly like the ancient Chinese dragon that we see in folklore. Or they look like Khaleesi's dragons when they were babies. <laughs> Game of Thrones, anyone? Anyways, this video is wild, it's very, very strange. This creature is exactly like every image of a dragon that I'm sure you've ever seen, and it is just swimming around in the water. Dragons are so embedded into many cultures and over many civilizations, people believed in dragons, and so it just 
makes you think perhaps they were once real or perhaps they are real. It's possible though that the old civilizations just stumbled across dinosaur bones that made them think fire breathing dragons were real too. That's very possible. But in any case, this specific video hasn't been proven to be real so it's possible that it's fake. But if it were to be real, I'm sure a narrative would be spun around it because that would be a massive discovery that humans may not be ready for. In our number four spot, we have Bigfoot. Look, there are so many stories and supposed sightings of the Mudman, Bigfoot, and honestly, this one is the most interesting one yet. A trail cam was deep in the woods when it captured a giant creature walking through the wood. It might be behind a row of trees, but it is clear as day that this creature is big, whatever it is. It appears to have hands and feet. It doesn't move like a bear. It moves like an oversized human. So this could very well be the best footage of Bigfoot that I've ever seen. Apparently the people that took this footage tend to upload footage of animals and bears and have no drive to tamper with the footage so a lot of people believe it to be real. Also apparently after this they set up more trail cams in the hopes of seeing it again but all of the additional cams went missing. Whoa, that's a smart Bigfoot right there. Making sure to watch the humans and get rid of all the evidence. Anyways, I think this is definitely footage the FBI would be worried about so they themselves could have destroyed the trail cams. In our number three spot, we have the Blue Mountains Panther. The Blue Mountains Panther is a creature from Australian folklore that is that is essentially a giant panther that lives in the mountains of Australia. This panther has had sightings for centuries. However, Australia isn't known to have any kind of panther on the continent. Anyways, a picture of what looks like a giant cat-like creature, most likely a panther, was caught on camera and it's had Australia in a tizzy. It's the Blue Mountain Panther everyone thinks. It's clear as day that it's a cat-like creature and it looks like a panther. If it is not this mythical creature, then what is it? Would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. In our number two spot, we have Sasquatch. This next footage is really interesting and something I know has been buried because of the sheer amount of people that can confirm its validity. While on a ski slope, a bunch of skiers had to stop as they appeared to see a giant in the woods. Everything you have ever heard about Sasquatch would describe what these people saw. Harry, ape-like, living in the woods. The footage captured shows it trying to hide, but without a doubt, it was seen by many, and that would certainly put a dent in the theory that Sasquatch is a mythological creature. Some people think that our human ancestors or relatives could have survived into the modern era, and so this creature could just be a human ancestor. If this is true, then one, there must be two of them to have continued on the species like this or two if there's only one is this an is this an immortal human ancestor from centuries ago the latter would certainly be cooler we discovered how to fly in the sky perhaps we humans have discovered everlasting life and the general public just doesn't know about it yet side thought <laughs> in our number one spot an elf <laughs> on a First Nation reserve in Saskatchewan, a strange creature was caught on camera that quite possibly the FBI doesn't want you to see. In the video, you see a creature go behind a large rock when the person recording the video turns their light on. It's kind of hard to make out exactly what it is. Some people think that it's an elf or a fairy or a wendigo, a type of shape-shifting creature that is evil. Honestly, I don't know what it is, but it appears to be some kind of mythical creature. People have been reporting seeing this monster for thousands of years, and so it makes you think that there might be something to this video, and it could very well showcase something no human has officially been able to confirm before on camera. I hope it's an elf. That sounds way better than an evil shapeshifter. <laughs> if elves exist, they should just come and live among us. I bet you us humans would accept them. How could we not? They're so cute and cool. Kicking off the list at number 10, doorbell lawn camera. We'll start with a recent doorbell cam recording, okay? Those are always terrifying. Every time I see one of these, first of all, I think of the Paranormal Activity franchise. I get so creeped out just looking at them. This video was submitted by Robert Parks. Now it shows the lawn, his front lawn, around 4 a.m., and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a naked man appears. 
That's always fun. Yeah, he was trying to cover up his, you know, goods or not goods rather but given the fact that he was still you know naked it was pretty horrifying after the fact you can't hear it because we had to mute the audio obviously but he's yelling about snakes being all over him yeah luckily police arrived and gave the man the help he needed but imagine somebody going through a rough time like i feel bad but you also have to stay safe at the same time you can't have a naked dude running inside your home talking about snakes on a plane or whatever number nine Bigfoot caught on tape. This video is said to have caught the Russian Bigfoot himself. Also, Russian Bigfoot, another Bigfoot. Are there many Bigfoots? We'll talk later. The exact location of where this video was taken is still unknown. In fact, there isn't a ton known about this video at all, hence why it's on our list today. But what we do know is that it was taken somewhere in Russia and that people believe it captures the real Bigfoot. It's a short clip that captures him, so I'm just gonna show you guys and then you can decide for yourselves. So comment down below. I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence personally. If Bigfoot was real, it's time we pay up. I mean, come on. This man's image has been used in the media for years. How is he paying his bills? Also, is there one Bigfoot or multiple? Is there a Russian Bigfoot? Is there a Canadian Bigfoot? Is Chris the Canadian Bigfoot? I don't know. Maybe. He wears a lot of plaid. Who knows? Number eight, Matt doesn't live here. Okay, this one I need your help on. There's a backstory that I need to figure out right now. Back in 2016, in the middle of an August summer night, this man approaches. Again, topless, always a great sign, just naked dudes approaching homes all of a sudden. And he's slowly approaching and he's looking back at somebody off camera. He has a look like he's about to rob the place almost. It's kinda, he's doing this. He's kind of tiptoeing in and out, it's not looking good. But instead of knocking and running like we all did when we were 15 years old, he pretends to knock. He knocks the air and then pretends to ask somebody who's not there if Matt is home. I don't know if he did this so the other person could see, maybe it was like a prank or a dare, or maybe it was an attempt to break in and we just didn't really connect all the dots or he didn't follow through with the plan or he chickened out, I don't know. Either way, I'm glad nothing really bad happened. So creepy, either way. Number seven, Milgram experiment footage. This video comes to us from the 1960s and it's apparently from the experiment known as the Milgram experiment. Basically, the premise was that they got two groups of people, okay, one called the teachers and one called the learners and they paired them up, one from each group. So far, so good. Awesome. The pair couldn't see each other, but the teacher would ask the learner a question. The teacher was then told to give them an electrical shock. Yeah, every question made the shocks get worse and worse until an eventual fatal shock would be administered. It'll be 195 volts. The correct one. Let me out of here. Slow. Damn. Let me out of here. My heart's bothering me. Now, before the experiment, it was proposed that only 3% of the participants would go all the way and would actually give the fatal shock. But it turned out that under pressure, 65% of the teachers actually gave the lethal dose of electricity to their learner counterparts. Now, luckily the students were actually just actors, so nobody was truly getting hurt here, hence the experiment. But it is honestly very creepy to see on footage. We always heard about this, but seeing it happen, it's... It does something in here that I don't really like. Number six, TV head. Stepping away from the worst of the worst or the weird or whatever's going on in that last video, let's shine the spotlight on some, I guess, creative happenings, dare I say? Like for example, the guy wearing a TV on his head. Apparently, that's a thing now, awesome. In Toronto, we have a guy that walks backwards around the city. And then here in Virginia, they have a guy who wears a TV on their head. So back in 2019, this man would appear all over in Virginia. He visited more than 50 residents in his time and he would show up with a TV as a head. And then if that wasn't already creepy enough, he would leave an old TV on your doorstep in the middle of the night and then just leave. That's so annoying to move. Also, it is pretty creepy. Many believe this man was inspired by the comic book series Saga. There's a race of TV alien heads. This could be a fan of, you know, Prince Robot the Fourth. Either way, this is annoying. You're walking on our property, you're leaving TVs. I wouldn't lift this up. Are you kidding? My brittle back? I couldn't lift the TV. I can't even lift the laptop now. Get out of here. Number five. Salem Road. This video shows a couple guys driving in a truck down a road in what looks to be like a very rural area. It's not too bright or fun. Now they're just two guys being dudes hanging out, blasting some cold play, whatever you do with your dudes on the weekends. Now you know a little bit more about me. All of a sudden they come across a woman dressed in white walking down the middle of the road. So they turn down their cold play, probably, and they swear a bunch, obviously they're in shock. Just a woman walking down in the middle of the road in what appears to be the middle of nowhere, and then all of a sudden these men driving up behind her. It looks bad from both point of views, know what I mean? They stop the truck and one of them gets out to go check on her to see if she's okay, because she's walking kind of, you know, ghoulish. She's got like the ghoulish walk. Now the guy continues freaking out. He's telling them to get out of there and the other guys don't believe him until they realize that seemingly out of nowhere this lady is now right in front of their truck. Awesome, we love phantoms. The video ends with this clip. <laughs> 
I'm not sure who or what this lady was or what's going on here, but that's all I gotta say. One of these. Number four, overnight break-in. This next found footage comes from a doorbell camera, one of my favorites, and it shows the terrifying moment a stranger begins trying to break into a woman's home. This is the this is my worst fear, if I'm being honest here. She starts off by backing up and throwing her body into the window until it finally breaks. Now the stranger wasn't in any immediate danger or anything like that, but it does appear as though she may be a little bit confused about her whereabouts, which is obviously sad when you look at it. The woman whose home is obviously freaked out, more than fair. I mean, imagine this happening out of the blue, middle of Survivor finale, you're like, what's that sound, what is that? Yeah, that ought to be jarring. Eventually, a police officer showed up and spoke to the woman who claimed that her friend was in the house. Now, obviously, this was not the case, but this is why I believe she may have been a little confused as to where she was. In the end, it just so happens that alcohol had a little something to do with it, so everyone was okay. It was just a rough night, you know what I mean? Number three. Chernobyl footage. Okay, this one comes to us from the later 1980s when there was a nuclear disaster in Chernobyl, obviously. I don't have to go into detail about this one. In April of 1986, there was an explosion and a fire taking place at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. This explosion happened when there was an issue and they were trying to begin an experiment which was set to actually make the reactor more safe, but in turn it didn't work out. Unfortunately, the way the reactor was designed placed too much responsibility in the hands of an operator. One thing led to another and it was this huge, tragic disaster. The amount of radiation in the air caused alarms at the Forsmark nuclear power plant in Sweden. The footage I'm about to show you is just a small glimpse into what things looked like soon after this took place. I can't imagine how scary this must have been for everybody involved. Even watching it is disturbing, to be honest with you. Chernobyl today is still pretty much a ghost town, but there are people who live there. Some of them never even left in the first place. Number two, doorbell liquor and immediately back into the weird stuff. This was one of my favorites, I have to include it. This was short and sweet, not much explaining to do here. Just a dude going up on a doorbell. Back in 2019, a man was caught on surveillance approaching a home in a neighborhood in Salinas, California. He doesn't say much, he just shows up and, well, like I said, starts licking the doorbell. Just goes to town on this button. Not the camera, the actual button, the actual doorbell itself. He rang the bell apparently hundreds of times. He did this for hours straight. Now the homeowner said in a following interview after seeing the footage, oh boy, that is weird. Yeah, see me, I, I mean, I would laugh hysterically and then after I'd be like, okay, we have to move. Number one, overnight visitor. This video was taken from a surveillance camera that was placed inside of a couple's home. Yeah, inside, not outside, in. Having a camera inside of your home isn't too common, but sometimes you're lucky you have one like this example. These people had one because what it caught while they were sleeping is one of the creepiest things I've ever seen in my life. When the couple woke up one day, they were unable to find a purse that they knew was in the house before they went to go to sleep, right? They're like, well, it was pretty much just right there next to my chapstick. I know where my chapstick is. So they decided to check their handy security camera and this is what they found. As it turns out, the couple fell asleep on the couch watching TV and as they were sleeping there, a man crept in and he was so quiet, he didn't even wake them or their dog up. Yeah, he stood at the top of their stairs watching them sleep for a few minutes, which just adds another layer of, I'm gonna shit my pants, and then that's it, Bob's your uncle. I wouldn't even keep this tape, I would throw it out. This is cursed in itself. I'm glad the robber only took the purse and didn't do anything else. How scary is that? Mm -hmm.